Santa, what I'm going to do is just explain what we're seeing, what we recommend, and I'm going to bring you on camera and manipulate you to try to get you optimized, okay? Um, uh, are you a center? Do you play center? Okay, I thought so, yeah. Um, you can see that sometimes in the way people set up and do things. You are a center who throws his head down and through with the snap, which a lot of blind snappers, guys who aren't looking back from start to finish, prefer because it really feels like they can get extra crunch or umph on the ball. The reason is, when you throw the head down and through, it makes sure all that motion energy of the upper body travels down the spine, through the hips, and towards the target, which is a good thing. If you ever become a guy who keeps his head up, we've got to watch out for other problems like popping up early. But we don't have that. Actually, we do have a little bit of that issue with you, so we may want to take a look at it. Okay? Um, the things we see that you need to work on. Number one, you got the ball a little too far out in front of you. We call that overextended downfield. And what that's going to tend to do is pull too much weight forward in your stance. Um, if your weight is biased forward, it's going to be very hard to powerfully and quickly accelerate the football back a long distance in the opposite direction. We've got to get you balanced neutral, which to me means knees over the toes, weight on the balls of the feet, and the heels in contact with the ground. Okay. Okay? Balanced neutral, two-point stance, bend over at the waist so we can throw a ball between our legs. All right. um, you are popping up early a little bit, and I'll tell you why. It's probably because you're used to falling over, so you're popping up to catch yourself. Now what's wrong with that? When you pop up early, you're going to send part of your energy in the opposite direction, so you're going to weaken your snap. You're also going to cut short your follow through, which is going to compromise your accuracy. We've got to keep you down and through, channel that energy back to the target to make you the best you can be. All right? Now, other than that, another thing we saw today, you're going to be greater. Oh, okay, sophomore, okay. Um, you're right handed. Okay. You are gripping the ball like this with the thumb on the same side of the ball as the hands. Very hard to hold it, very hard to throw it. We have a great miraculous thing called the opposable thumb that we need to take advantage of. I'm just joking. Uh, take that thumb and strengthen the grip is what I call it by moving it a little bit to the other side of the football. Now, some people think it has to be a perfect C, this big white grip, or it's wrong. That's not what we think. We find the positioning that gives you a great tight spiral, a good linear acceleration, and a powerful throw, and gives you good results every time. If I did it that way, I wouldn't be nearly as good as if I have the grip like that. Because I have pretty small hands, I can really squeeze that nose and get a really tight spiral out of it when I throw a football, okay? Especially snapping, okay? Popping up early. As a blind snapper, we got a couple of ways to fix that we'll show you. You're not using your legs and your torso as much as you probably could, but I think that'll evolve naturally as you master the fundamentals, get more comfortable with what we're doing. And, and start throwing the ball harder. It'll just naturally, the legs will come into it more of the gut. So I'm not going to obsess on that right now. Let's go ahead and set you up. Make sure that uh, we're going to three-step you, show you the adjustments, and then let you snap a couple after that. You ready? Three-step first. I'm going to pull you forward, lean on the ball. That gets knee bend to 90 or less, straightens the back, and extends the arms. Right. I'm going to raise you up, maximizing operating room under the torso. Last thing I'm going to do is push you back into the hips towards your target until the heels touch the ground, knees are over the toes, you're solid on your feet. Now try to sit into it just a little more. Does that feel comfortable? Okay. okay, I'm not trying to beat on you, I'm just trying to get you optimized, okay? Lift the ball off the ground, make sure you balance, set it down, give it a good hard throw. Excellent. Still popping up a little earlier, so let's fix that now. But otherwise, where'd the ball go? Straight to your target. A perfect setup with perfect balance will lead to a perfect snap. Right. Watch it through your legs then, okay? That's a good cure. Now, we sent energy down the spine through the hips to the target, up from the balls of the feet into the hips towards, uh, towards your target. Those energies converged and combined into an arrow point. Wherever that arrow point is directed is where the football goes. That was excellent. You've got to work on release and spiral. Okay. To a large extent, you want your throwing grip, which means the hand fairly perpendicular to the ball. Okay. Find the positioning of your guide hand that gives you great results, obviously strengthening that, that, uh, that thumb or that, that throwing grip as well. Okay. Yep. I'm going to show you a couple ways you can kind of channel that energy. One is I can lean on your back and channel it. The other way is I can shove your shoulders down and through. Third way is I can just keep your head down by keeping my hand there as a reminder. Give it a good hard throw. See the difference? Nice tight spiral. Ball goes back to your target. Let me shove the shoulders once. I want to show you how you can get that feel of how that energy goes back in the hips. Now you're here tomorrow, right Tanner? Good. We're going to do some work on a hill that I think will be hugely productive for getting you to master this uh, this drive angle or you know the angularity of motion. Feel that? I did it pretty aggressively, but I want you to feel how everything goes back. And it's an aggressive throw, big gut crunch, and a powerful drive of the legs will tilt that arrow point, 
straight at your target instead of being vertical or, or not capturing the motion energy and making the most of it. Let's do one more snap, okay? Try throwing the head down and through and then watch the ball fly between your legs. That's the discipline that will help you on your own master this over the course of the summer. Now what's wrong with that snap? That is not short of perfection, isn't it? That feel good? Exactly. Do it again, fast. Don't think, just snap. Master that, program it, muscle memory. Awesome, do it again. This guy is on the verge of world class. Come on, one more time. Awesome, throw that head and watch the ball. Now you, by yourself, have just cured yourself of that habit of popping up early. If you can do that every time, Tanner, you're gonna have a great season. You got any questions? No, sir. Okay, let's rotate you back in the group, good job. Keep that head down as well. Made tremendous projects in, in optimizing the stance. You balanced? Can you sit into the low? The whole body, quick and smooth, quick, smooth throw. Keep the head down. See what a difference that makes? Yeah. Lots of good things happen in camp. You've done some really good footballs, really powerfully too. Keep that head down. See what a difference that makes?